Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of Raphael. God is my healer. Ah, oh, interesting championship game. <laughs> oh, Duke, back at your old ways. Crazy. All right, enough of that. Um, let's talk about the kingdom of God. Kingdom talk. That's what I'm all about. You know, this world system. You know, is this how much is you know getting into the gutter of you know what it's all about is just some looking at it and looking at people that you know uh more likely uh to me I just think people that uh love the world are the idea of people in the Titanic. You know what I'm saying? They will look at the water and say, you know what? I don't need a life raft or life guard, uh, another boat to help me, you know. Everything's all right, you know. Just got to, you know, I guess they'll look at the water. Just got a little water in there, you know. Uh, the boat kind of jerking and moving a little bit, but, you know, uh, it's all good. You know, it's, everything's all right. You know, it, it's, it's, it's not that bad, you know. It, no, no, it's all good. Oh, water cold, ooh. It's got cooling water, you know, just like, you know, the hit song, you know, Lee, Lee, Lee and the Williams Brothers, you know, kind of just cooling water from Grandma's well, you know. Uh, the water is not going to drown me, you know. I'm, I'm okay, you know. And, in a destructive system that is, you know, doing all kind of negative things. Everything's cool. No problem. Everything's all right. Wow. I mean, everybody's in that mode. No, sorry, not everybody. Most people are in this mode right now. They, they are like, look, they are accepting a lot of negative things in this world system and think that it's supposed to be part of life. Yes, cursing and mistreating people, calling people any kind of things and, you know, not liking people, is supposed to be a part of life. And guess what? In doing this, you're supposed to have a wonderful time lo loving life. And, and, and no bad things are not gonna happen. You, you know, doing negativity, you know? No, it's not supposed to happen, you know? You're not supposed to experience bad things and bad tragedies doing negativity, no. That's how people mode is. They look, they, they're on the Titanic probably ship just about in the water. They're like, boop, boop, boop. right, right, you know, probably in that dancing in that, you know, uh, dance hall they had in there, you know? Probably, you know, eating eating dinner. No, that's not reality. Because Mac is about reality. And reality is this world is sinking like the Titanic. And you know the thing about the Titanic, you know. Uh, men said that it's unsinkable. Oh, man, I wonder how many people on that book knew uh, Romans 3 and 4. Oh, God, God forbids, let God be true and every, every man be a liar. I think if they read Romans 3 and 4, I think they might have kept on living. But, you know, it's amazing how people, you know, men can say that, Oh, things are unsinkable. Things are undestructible. We have a great and wonderful system that is not being destroyed. It's, it's, it's a wonderful world here. You know, this wonderful temporal world that you're not really p promised to see tomorrow. And you know, that people are on their negative agenda and nobody's not gonna mistreat you and do you wrong. Believe me, believe me. Wow.
Well, that's not really my message, though, but my message that I want to give to you, for the Christian, these are for the Christian, or those that, you know, if you really, truly about be actually becoming a Christian, uh, look, here's the thing, you know, I, I, you know, I'm about spiritual warfare to the utmost way. If Satan, my adversary, if Satan is... I am a offense. I, mean, I am a defense alignment, and Satan playing quarterback. Um, I gotta get me a sack. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to terrorize Satan for whatever pass he's trying to throw to his, you know, kingdom of darkness or whatever. I'm trying to tear and rip him apart. That's where I'm at. About my, I'm not. You know, hmm. Maybe if I'm on. Get on this team. Get no. I'm like three point stands. Well, three point stands playing defense in. Um, when that ball says hike, uh, Satan, you know he got to worry about me. He gotta. He gotta. I gotta get this guy light mares. I gotta, you know, make him so uh, frustrated and mad and miserable, you know, as best way as I possibly can every snap of every play if I'm playing a football game and I'm that defensive end coming from the side and Satan is playing quarterback you know what I'm saying that's how I look at it that's where I'm at about mine I don't know about everybody else I don't know what Christians at are they wondering they're wondering on the sideline you know they they want to be on the sideline you know what I'm saying and you know and, and maybe they will might you know get in the game or want to get in the game I don't know where all the I don't know where every Christian at you know but the thing is I, I'm just speaking for myself you know the thing is how I post on Facebook how I do my videos I'm letting you know that I am about going after Satan and truly literally destroying his kingdom that's what I'm all about I'm not you know no job no plan no foolishness no nonsense you know what I'm saying like I did a message you know the wisdom is at war, you know what I'm saying? But fools are just playing games. There's no patty cake with me. I'm not patty caking with Satan. What Satan is doing to people in his system and luring them and deceiving them, people and the confusion and conflict and chaos and all these bad things going on is of Satan. Has nothing zero to do with God. So stop cursing God and start cursing Satan because Satan is causing all this mayhem and all this bad stuff going on in this world i mean the thing is look because you know everybody's still wondering who, who's responsible of all the bad stuff going on in the world you know they still stuck on that you know what i'm saying no mac knows who the bad guy is he's attacking the bad guy he letting the bad guy know i'm coming after him you know what i'm saying just like you know rambo part two you know what i'm saying you know was supposed to take pictures you know uh to see if any um uh, people missing in action, you know, uh, there, um, no, you know, he see people, they locked up, he finna take two, try to get three of them, four of them, trying to save, you know, these people, lives, you know, that has been prisoner at war, you know, P, you know, POWs or whatever, um, and they left him hanging, and the people in the arrest, arresting him and then you know the dude called you know the people that was you know in charge of this investigation and in Rambo I love the part I will I watch this part all the time one of my favorite parts of the movie you know what I'm saying and you know give me that phone you know you made a big mistake you know what I'm saying not picking me up you know he he hear Rambo tell him he made big mistake he he tied up ready to get electrocuted, ready to get tortured to death. And then he said, I'm coming to get you. That's what Mac mode at. That's where I'm at about Satan. I'm, you tie me up, lock me up, you know, whatever. I'm still coming to get you. You can put whatever against me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am straight after this guy. I, I want his nonsense to end. I want to put him under my feet where he belongs that's where i'm at about my but i'm asking christians 
is Satan is your prime target. You know what I'm saying? Is is Satan is your uh, adversary? Is 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 he the guy you really after? If that's the case, why are you wrestling against flesh and blood? Why are you still mad at this person? Still mad at that person? Why you're not operating in forgiveness? Why you're not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, taking a cross and following God to really, you know, get more stronger in God's love and start, you know, be about, you know, rebuilding what darkness and the wickedness that is going on in this world. What What's going on? Are you, you know, patty caking, you know, with this world system? You know, like I'm serious. I don't like these gods. I don't like these goddesses that y'all are acknowledging in the days of the week, in the planets. They have no business being acknowledged, you know, in the heavens. You know what I'm saying? In God's days that he created. God created days, put in charge of archangels over the days. I don't like these gods and goddesses over the days that my God created to establish this world. I don't like it. I don't like what's going on. You naming these planets that God created out of gods and goddesses. I don't like that kind of stuff. That's where I'm mad about mine. You know what I'm saying? That these are the high places. That's God's territory. That's not men's territory. Men are in charge of the earth. They're not, not supposed to be acknowledging anything that doesn't have to do with God, especially these gods and goddesses. And, of course, the, uh, should I go to these pagan holidays? Don't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for the nonsense of the darkness that Satan is going through. I am on an agenda to destroy Satan's kingdom but are you all about it are you about it or are you just you know want to be entangled in this world system are you a soldier for Christ are you going to be taking guns and telling the truth about the gospel of Jesus Christ and speaking against this negative nonsense of you know the stuff they care like got gay marriage and all kind of crazy stuff you know are you going to be about God's truth or God's word and say thus saith the Lord Romans 1 and 20 Five and twenty-six. You know, that's it. Um, you know, are you standing upon the truth? You know what I'm saying? Are you on the team? Are you really, really ready for war? Are you really to stand your ground on God's word and get on the devil's nerves? What? What? Are you? Are Satan's nightmare? Is Satan? You know, can't stand you because you keep waking up in the morning by the grace and mercy of God, ready to give God, ready to give people hope, and you know, ready to give people the understanding of the gospel of Jesus Christ. What what is this all about to you? You know what I'm saying? I want you to ask yourself this question, Christian, and Christian that are striving to become a true Christian. What's going on? Are you about yourself and how much blessings you're going to get out of it? Or are you in that immature mindset? Or are you about being a blessing? Being a blessing for the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? What, what is this all about? What, why are you with God? You know what I'm saying? From what you can get from God or what God can get out of you for helping him, people, to share his gospel of Jesus Christ to everybody. What is this really all about here? And the thing is, why are you on? Why are you in a clique? Why are you at church? Why are you learning? I mean, you know, learn the word of God. Why are you saying it for Him? Why? 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 Why are you here? To um, do what? For what purpose? For for your agenda of God can you know take care of me? No. Or for you to do the will of God as Jesus Christ? You know, not my will, but Thy will. I will do. I will go to war and take. And surrender and submit and surrender unto these, you know, Roman soldiers to snatch the keys of death in, in the grave and get victory in, in, for the sake of heaven. I mean, that's what Jesus was. He was on that straight agenda. But are you on that straight agenda is the question. You know what I'm saying? This is no game. This is no play toy. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to be at war and pull out real guns with God's real word to shoot at the enemy? Or are you just going to, going to play, play, play and be about child's play of 1 
Corinthians, you know, 13 and 11. You know, are you, did you still play as a child, talking as a child, being immature, arguing with people as a child, you know, fussing and fighting as a child, or you put away childish day and became a man in God's army to stand against the truth and against the wildness of the devil? What's going on? Where you at? That's what this message is all about. You know, so are you Satan's enemy or is he his friend? All right, that's the message to God. Be the glory here forever and ever.